Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the favicon or icon in your EduBlogs blog. I recently did a video about how to do this in Blogger and some folks have asked how to do it in EduBlogs. And by the way, this process we're about to do will work with any WordPress based blog. EduBlogs just happens to be the most popular platform for classroom blogs. So here I am, I'm in my EduBlogs dashboard and we want to go in and take a look at the appearance on the left hand side and in this menu on the left hand side let's select customize and it'll show the blog that you're customizing and make sure you're customizing the one that you want to customize and let's go into site identity now here in site identity you'll see your site title this is where you can change out the name of your blog. Now the de default tagline for every EduBlogs blog is another excellent EduBlogs.org web blog. We can change this. Call Awesome Sample Blog. And now that little subtitle will be Awesome Sample Blog. But let's change the icon. That's the little favicon you see in the upper menu when you're looking at the tab for your site. We can now upload any image that meets the requirement of being square and at least 512 by 512 pixels. Now you can use a service like Canva to make a little logo or any other tool that you like to make your PNG file. I've already done that. I'm going to upload a file. I have it here on my desktop. My awesome classroom blog is my little icon. Now let's take a look. Hit select. I'm going to skip the cropping on this. That's now my new little favicon. And let's hit the publish button. And we're good to go. And now you'll see the favicon in my browser tab has changed to that new little icon that I've just uploaded. Now you can always go back in and change that anytime you want. So that's how you can customize the favicon or icon for your EduBlogs blog. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com. And if you have any questions for me, any tutorials you'd like to see, feel free to send me an email, richard at burn.media.